Today, Kevin and I have three limited edition ice creams to try from Publix. We have the eggnog, the caramel mountain tracks. I have Santa's white Christmas, which could mean all kinds of different things. It could, yeah, <laughs> it, it really could. Uh, these were $6.39 each at Publix. Uh, it's 1.89 liters, it's a half gallon of ice cream. So we're gonna try the eggnog first. It says rich eggnog flavored ice cream with a kiss of nutmeg. 12 servings in the container, two thirds cup, 102 grams. It's 210 calories. All right. I love that eggnog. Yes. Eggnog is like one of our favorite things ever. It's cold on this paper. <laughs> okay, there's your spoon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't even put it past me. Your eggnog spoon. Okay. We, we're keeping these, so I'm just eating out of the container. That way we don't have to fight over a bowl. It's good texture. Mm -hmm. mm. That's nice. Yes, it's delicious. I do like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. It is very creamy. Very creamy. You very do rich. get, um, oh, and if you're watching this from overseas, eggnog uh, does not taste like eggs. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like your custard. Yes. Well, it, like a frozen custard. With nutmeg. With nutmeg. Uh-huh. Mm. That's really good. The, the spices, the... The spices are, are different than some that we've had, mm -hmm. but they're they're really good. Do you think they're a little lighter than what we've had before? I mm. think the nutmeg might be a touch lighter, but it's I don't little, mind. Yeah. There's something in there that's a little stronger than what we have, and mm. something else that's a little lighter, so I don't know. The balance is, is off just a, it's the hair, mm -hmm. but it's really good. I mean, I would eat it 100%. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, so we still have some eggnogs that are I think better than this, mm -hmm. uh, the Talenti. Oh yeah, the, the Talenti, Talenti egg gelato also. eggnog. Uh, if you can find that one, that's probably uh, one of uh, a favorite. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I still I do think this is delicious, and for the so. price, uh, trust me. If if you love eggnog, you will love this. Is if you have yeah. a Publix, you should try this. Yeah, I mean if you're if that's your seasonal thing is eggnog. Go for it. And that's where you shop as Publix, yes. Yeah, you, you'll really like it. Yeah, you won't go wrong getting that. I wouldn't want you to think you're not going to like it. Mm. You will absolutely like that. Mm. Uh, they do, though, at Publix. Didn't they have a whole lot of Talenti? Um, didn't you make the comment while we were there? Yeah, they oh, have they a have a lot of Talenti. Yeah, they have a big freezer section, period. So. Um, this is the Caramel Mountain Tracks. Oh, it says Mackinac Flavors. It huh. says... Uh, Toffee flavored ice cream with ribbons of Mackinac caramel dotted with praline pecans and milk caramel turtles. Uh, two thirds cup, 102 grams is 230 calories. Okay. And there wasn't much to see in the eggnog. I didn't hold it up because it's just it, color. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all yellow. That's yeah. what it is. I'll hold this one up because there is yeah, some Yeah, there's, there's some stuff for, with this one. Yeah. Let me see that right there. Some stuff. Some stuff that I'm going to immediately go to. Oh, yes. Is that caramel? Well, what? The, there's That's some the turtle. Trouble. There's some... Uh, Probably pecan. That's what that was. And the turtle's supposed to be a caramel turtle. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you get a pecan, mm -hmm. you know it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Well, the texture is completely mm -hmm. different. Right. The texture um, is like it has been um, uh, coated in sugar. Mm -hmm. And so it has a... Uh, oh, it is a praline color. Yes. It has a gritty texture, but it's it's very, very sweet. Do what? Oh, yeah. Well, I was, that's what I'm doing is digging in this caramel. I really do love that, that turtle flavor. And I did get... A big center of caramel right a there. A piece of milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite part is pecans. 
because mm -hmm. um, they really are sweet and they have a lot of flavor to them. Mm -hmm. the, the little, the little uh, bunnies are, or turtles are okay. The only bad thing is, is you don't get a lot of those. I got one milk chocolate piece in my whole bowl. I, I had two and I've got the whole half gallon over. Yeah, that's it. You just, that, that would be where I think they failed is they did not put enough mixins in here no. at all. No, even the pecans. I've even, gotten a few here and there. Yeah, I've gotten two little pecans and that's it. And that's, um, I think mainly uh, when you buy this, you're, you are getting a lot of caramel. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just don't think they uh, gave you that many mix-ins with this one. You get a lot of caramel, but the caramel for the most part is very thin swirl. Mm -hmm. You get some in the middle that's really thick, but most of the ones on the outside, you really don't even taste the caramel. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. It's good. The caramel sweet. Um, it's, it's not like a burnt caramel. It's a very sweet no, caramel. Very sweet. And I think it has a good flavor. Mm -hmm. But I really do think stuff. they should have given you more mix in. Yeah. yeah. I think my, I like it a lot too. But there's, um, it, it's almost to where when you do get the little bites of, of uh, pecans or the little turtles, you're like, oh, wow, that's exciting. And it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be a, no, these honest, pops of surprise. You know, it yeah, should be regular. There things. should be twice as many pecans in there as there are. Yeah, and, and turtles. Yeah, for me to get one little bite of milk chocolate, and that was it through that whole bowl. And mm -hmm. I'm looking over here, and there's just there's, still, there's, there's just not there. much there. I got one whole one and one piece of one. And so even mm -hmm. though yes, it's good, they just know you're you're only paying six thirty nine, yeah. but you're paying six thirty nine because they didn't give you much. Yeah. Um, I would rather them bump the price up a little bit. Give me some more. Yeah. You know. Um, this it's, it's is good though if you want to try. Uh, Santa's White Christmas. It says the classic flavor of Barney's Santos White Christmas coffee, delightfully mixed with cocoa espresso flakes. So and this that's where it comes from. Barney's Coffee and Tea Company. I've never heard of that before, but it must be like a Starbucks or something. Is it an actual place? Um, so they must sell coffee and tea, and they must have a flavor called Santa's White Christmas. So it's cocoa and espresso flakes, and it is 220 calories for two thirds cup or 102 grams. We've been watching too much Shameless, so every time I hear White Christmas, Santa's oh, White Christmas. Oh, you're thinking of I'm drugs. Thinking of drugs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Shameless will do that to you. There you go. Yeah, there you go. It looks like a creamer coffee color. Yes, it does. Oh, look. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in that one. Well, it's, um, well, it's it flakes. looks like chocolate flakes. It looks like lots of chocolate flakes. But it said something about coffee something too, didn't it? It says espresso flakes. Yeah, espresso flakes. That's what those are. Okay, so, so they're ch espresso chocolate. There's a bunch of them in there. Hmm. It tastes like coconut. Um. I think it's the flavor of that coffee. Yeah, it has like a, a little bit of a coconut flavor. It does have a coconut flavor. I like that texture of those flakes. I like the flakes, although they're a little bit coffee bean kind of texture, which I don't like. They're okay. I can deal with these because they're more firm. They're very, yeah, they're very, very crunchy little pieces, but I like them. It's not like you're eating a coffee bean. Mm -hmm. It's literally like um, flakes of, of coffee. I could eat that one, but I, I would I would rather have the Carmel Mountain Tracks with their lack of stuff than, than this one. I could just eat a spoonful of those flakes. Uh, it's not for me. Because I like those flakes so much. Like they could sell the flakes and because there's a little bit of salt in there. Mm. I, I got a big flake. Oh, and, that's what I was doing. I just chocolate. Yeah, yeah. If they gave me a cup full of just those, I, I would. Snack on. I, oh, I would love that. See, I'm getting into like, you know how many you eat a coffee bean? Mm -hmm. You get like the little um, shrapnel pieces like in your teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm getting those little pieces in my teeth. So they've definitely done some. It seems like they've done some of the actual bean in those. Yeah, I could go through there and just, just pick, pick, pick out the chocolate flakes. <laughs> It's okay for me. It's, Keep it's, me busy for an hour. If you like coffee ice cream, try it out. I think you would like it. If you don't like coffee ice cream, I don't think you'll like that one either. 
No, because it is strong. It's, it's, and it does remind but, you a little bit of coconut. It's got coconut like flavor, but mm -hmm. it's not a bitter coffee. I do have to say that. It, it isn't bitter or strong it, No, coffee. it's very sweet. Um, it's very sweet, but I just, I just don't like it. No. Um, no. no, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, so which one do you like the best? Um, probably the eggnog. <laughs> oh. We're still filming. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt the other day when we did another one of these. Um, I would probably pick the eggnog, but this, the eggnog and the caramel mountain tracks are about equal for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the coffee one I would never get. Um, okay. You know the thing though too, let me say this about the eggnog, there's no mix ins No, there's nothing there. No mix ins Which out. most of the time there isn't. Right. Um, I'm gonna go for eggnog number one though. Yeah. That's fine. And then um, probably the caramel, and that's just because uh, it's just um, a, an all-around everyday good flavor yeah. with the sweetness yeah. and the caramel and everything. Kind of like a chocolate fudge, right? Or a vanilla chocolate fudge ice cream. Uh, but I genuinely do like this uh, Santa's White Christmas. I think it'll surprise a lot of people though, because if you don't know Bar Barney's, was that the name of it? Um, I would have thought. Because I didn't read these before when we bought them, I would have thought by that name that it would have white chocolate. That yeah, it would be something, something with white chocolate, sugar cookie or and something. it's not. Uh, my favorite. We've reviewed so many Publix ice creams, and my favorite is still one that we tried when we were in Florida. It was a uh, was it macadamia? It was like a hula. It had a Hawaiian yeah. name. It was like a. Maui or hula or something. It was a macadamia nut and it still is my all-time favorite and they should sell that all mm -hmm. the time. It was fantastic. Um, I didn't see any of these in little smaller containers. No, no. I do Not think the they should do special. that. That would be cool too. They could just have them in the small containers and not even have them in these big containers as far as I'm concerned uh, because a lot of people would rather have the Ben and Jerry, the pint, the pint size. Um, but I, I think it's fun to try these if mm -hmm. you've never had them before. Would I go to Publix next year if they came out with these again and be like a repeat purchase? No, I wouldn't. No, especially I've, these. No, I've had them now and I don't need to have them again. But I would buy that Hula or whatever it was yeah. called. I would buy that one again because well, we, that was outstanding. We tried one the apple pie. The, yes. And it was very, very mm -hmm. good. And they're supposed to have one. I posted it. Somebody sent me pictures on, uh, to post on Instagram, and uh, which I greatly appreciate. Um, and in those pictures, I had posted one of a snickerdoodle. Yeah, we didn't when see we that. went, our Publix did not have the snickerdoodle. So if you're wondering why didn't you review that, that's why. Because yeah. we didn't have it. And we're already driving an hour and a half to get there. Yeah, so, so I'm not going to go an hour and a half back just to see, oh, do they have it now? No, it, it is what it is. So, so maybe next year when we do have a Publix in our area, snickerdoodle, if they bring it back again, that'll be yeah. one that I can try next year. But uh, these were good to try for, uh, for, for this year for one time, but I wouldn't make a special trip next year just to get these again. Right. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.